an ellipse has eccentricity 12 thirteenths and vertices at 3 comma 2 and 3 comma 28. Find the foci of the ellipse and find the length of string needed to draw the ellipse off of the foci. Now, let's take a look at our vertices. From that, we can get the center and the length of the major axis. So here, we note there's only going to be a change in y, so we're looking at major axis going in the y direction. The midpoint here is going to be 3 comma, the average of our y values. So the center is going to be at 3 comma 15. Now, if we take a look at the distance between our vertices, that's going to be the length of the major axis. In this case, that's going to be 26. So I go to the standard equation of the ellipse, a is going to be equal to 13. Okay, remember standard equation here, since it's long and y, we'll have y squared stuff over a squared, x squared stuff over b squared, add it together, get a 1. All right, so we have a equal to 13. Now note, we have the eccentricity, that's equal to c divided by a, Okay, we'll talk about c in a second. So that's going to be equal to 12 thirteenths. Since I know a is equal to 13, that gives me c equal to 12. All right, now we have enough to get to the end of our problem, but let's just find b so that we can draw our ellipse. Now, one thing we know about the relation between a, b, and c, okay, remember, a is half the length of the major axis, B is half the length of the minor axis. C is going to be related to those two by C squared equals A squared minus B squared. So if I want to find B squared, I take A squared, subtract off C squared. That gives me 25, or B equal to 5. Okay, we're not going to need that, but let's draw the picture. So that says, go 5 to the left and to the right of your center. That'll give you points on the ellipse and then we can connect the dots. Now, I want to find the foci. The recipe for finding the foci is, you find your center, determine what direction you're long in. In this case, we're long in y. Then I'm going to take c, add and subtract that to the y value of the center. So in this case, we're taking 3 comma 15. I'm going to add and subtract 12 from 15. What's left over is the foci. So we have foci at 3 comma 3 and 3 comma 27. What's the relation of the foci to the ellipse? Well, I can tack down each end of a piece of string of the right length to each focus. I'll take a pencil, pull it up until the string is taut. The end should be on the ellipse. Then, as I just circle around, my pencil should trace out the ellipse. So that's the idea. Now, I want to figure out the length of the string that we use, given that we have these foci here. So what's going to happen? We're just going to nail it down, bring my pencil up to there, and then just go around in each direction. So you'll notice we have to go through the vertices at some point, so let's take a look at all the lengths that happen on the major axis as I go through a vertex. So for instance, if I'm going out to here and then back, we're starting at one focus, going to the center. Distance from focus to center, that's C. I'm going to go from center to vertex, that's going to be given by A. And then we're going to come back from the vertex to the second focus. Now, if you notice, okay, the long distance is going to be A. That would be going all the way up here. And then the shorter distance going out to our focus is going to be C. So what's left over is going to be A minus C. I add up all three terms, and then what we're left with is 2A. So the length of string that I need is going to have to be 26.